Hi, this is a video to introduce you to the online course in the Blackboard folder. To access Blackboard, open a browser. Go to mymason.gmu.edu. There, enter your net ID and password. The Blackboard opening screen is going to appear. Click on the Courses tab, so it's going to look like this. You're going to log in, and then it's going to populate a course list. You're going to click here on Courses, and you'll have your course list come up. You're going to click on Conference 707. The link is for Conflict 707, Gender and Violence, Section X01. The first screen that you're going to come to is Welcome to the Course. And under this section, you're going to see a link to Course Instructions. Here you're going to see a picture of Dr. Leslie Dwyer and myself, Elizabeth Mount. A few days into the semester, we're going to change the landing page to Announcements so that you're able to have the announcements populate as the first thing when you come here. So on the left screen is the course menu. This is going to be where you go for all things related to this class. So let's go through it real quick. The first section is the getting started section. Here we already talked a little bit about the link to the welcome video, which you will see um, the how to take this course. Welcome to the course section where you're going to find welcome videos from myself and from Dr. Leslie Dwyer. And you'll also note here that at the top, there's two assignments that you'll need to do before the first day of class. These can be completed in the course content section right here. We're going to get down to that in just a few seconds. So after the announcement section, you're going to see the syllabus. Here in this folder, I have a few versions for you. We have a docs version, which is Microsoft Word, a PDF syllabus, and then a learning module syllabus so that you don't have to download anything. All of the information in each of these documents is exactly the same. The only reason I've put them up in different formats is if you don't want to download something, you can read it here in the module version, or if you're on a Mac, it might be easier to upload it in, or download it in a PDF file as opposed to a Microsoft Word file. So please don't feel obligated to download all three. It's all the same information. So moving on down, you're going to see a contact instructions section. So if you need to contact either Leslie or myself via email, uh, feel free to do so, but please do check the frequently asked questions um, sections un under your course menu before you contact us if it's for a technical detail. If it's for something personal, please reach out to us immediately. We're both available via Skype as well as via email. So moving on just a little bit further. Um, oh, also just to let you know, we will do our best to respond to emails within 48 hours. If we're going to be away from email for more than a day, we'll post an announcement. Um, so moving on, um, I did want to talk a little bit about contacting us in more detail. Um, the course is going to cover some emotionally challenging material, and we want you to feel completely comfortable reaching out to us should you encounter any sort of personal challenges or um, feelings of discomfort that will arise through the process of engaging through this coursework. Um, we've definitely had students in the past when reading these things, it's really triggered some emotional um, issues for them. There's nothing to be concerned about or ashamed about. We want to be here to support you through those processes should they happen. Um, and there's also support for you available through George Mason University Counseling Services and the information to contact them is located in your syllabus. So moving on, the next section of your course menu is the coursework section. We're just going to scan up here. This is the coursework section and under here is going to be the bulk of where you'll do the work for this class. You're going to click on course content and here you're going to see that you have units for each of the weeks of this class. There's eight weeks, there's nine units. Why is that? Because there's a unit zero. You're going to need to come into unit zero and complete the work in here before class starts on June 16th. So there's the videos that are also shown in the welcome to the course section, but here there's also two assignments, your syllabus quiz and your student introduction blog post. We're asking that you get both of these done before June 16th. Please note that both the syllabus quiz and the student introduction blog post count towards your participation grade. 
The reason we've included a syllabus quiz is because as a distance education course, this class is really, really dependent on being able to understand the amount of material that's in the syllabus because each week we're going to be covering a lot of material online. Um, we know the syllabus quiz is kind of silly. Um, please take it. It's just our way of making sure that you've gone through and made, um, you know, made every attempt to understand the syllabus and go through all of the different content that we're going to be covering. Like I said, you know, it's two points out of 25 for your participation grade, so it's not something that you can get right or wrong. We would just like you to complete it so that you have the opportunity to really go through the syllabus in depth. Okay, that's enough about that. So, um, we are going to move forward now to rubrics. What is a rubric? This is a rubric. This is the section here. Um, we have rubrics that go over what are the different content that we are looking for in each of your assignments. So if you'll see, it's going to download a document automatically, or you can click here. Your document's going to download. You're going to open it. And in the rubric, you're going to find information for exactly what we're looking for when you put together your assignments, as far as the quality of work and the ways that we're going to be assessing your grades. Um, of course, feel free to contact us should you have specific questions, um, but please do look through the rubrics if it's something that's going to be helpful to you. Okay, moving down. After the rubrics, you're going to find groups and weekly discussions. This is your home base for all of your discussions that are going to be happening on a weekly basis. So you're going to click on groups and weekly discussions from the coursework. So you're here in the course menu, there's the coursework, and you're going to go down to groups and weekly discussions. Each week you're going to have a weekly discussion. This counts for the majority, 16 out of 25 points for your participation grade. So you're going to go into whichever group you're assigned and you will see which group you're in once you click in. So you're going to go into your group, you're going to see your group members right here, and if you're not in the first group, click on the second. If you're not in the second, click on the third. So far, you all are smart people, and you'll be able to find your names. I have all the faith in the world. So once you click into the group, you're going to go into group discussion board, and this is where your weekly discussions will happen. So right now, we just have the link open for the week one discussion. You'll click in here, and it will populate a place for you to participate in the weekly discussion if your Blackboard loads more quickly than mine. Just a quick note, when you click in the group one discussion and you're in the discussion board right here, do not click create a forum. This is a bad button. Don't use it, please, please, please. What you want to do is click in your group one discussion and create a thread. Do not create a forum from the previous board. You want to create a thread, not a forum. The forum is already created, so please ignore this button. Okay, that's enough about group discussions. So, um, just a quick note, okay, so it's not enough. One more quick note on group discussions. Um, when you go into the course content section, in each of the course contents, in each of your units, you're also going to have a link to the discussions there. So if you can't find it in the group and weekly discussions, um, they will be there, I promise you. But if you forget that that's where they are, they're also in the course content. So we've built in some redundancies just in case you're not able to navigate as quickly as possible through Blackboard as you get used to the software. Okay, moving on um, to the next section, which is the help forum. Back to my point, if you're not able to navigate Blackboard uh, towards the beginning of the course, it is a clunky piece of software. Um, it's difficult to learn sometimes. There's a help forum, though, to help you out. So um, please use these links to navigate through the different um, options available for you to help. There's a Blackboard Q&A that has all sorts of different information for you. The, we will make sure that that link works. Um, also very important, there's a help forum where you can create a thread to ask questions and answer questions. So there's student-generated um, questions and student-generated answers. So please feel free to um, use this as a forum for discussing different items that you've had trouble with or that you're looking for help. This perhaps is your most 
important section in the help section, which is the Blackboard tutorials. This is going to take you through student videos that tell you how to work in the course more uh, efficiently. So please utilize these videos. They're here for you. They are produced by Blackboard and can help you with all sorts of wonderful questions. So moving on to the final sections. Um, the student section is a place where you can check all of your grades. So throughout the course, um, right now, we, this, this is viewing in the uh, instructor mode, but in the student mode, you're going to be able to see your personal grades. Um, and you can check that each week your grades going to progress because you are getting graded on your weekly discussions. Um, and as you move through the assignments in the course, you will also be getting grades on those. So that's the grade forum. The next is the responsibilities and services section. There are all sorts of wonderful things about the student uh, honor code, academic integrity, also the requirements for the course. You're going to be able to need your GMU email, which just a personal note, you can push to your personal account. So if you have a Gmail account or a Yahoo account, or if you're still using AOL, you can push your GMU to your personal account by changing the settings in Mason Live. Um, just moving again, quick note, I mentioned earlier that should you run into some trouble with the content of the course and need some more support, um, you can first email us, but secondly, do know that there's counseling and psychological services available to you through the university. And that link is here under the responsibilities and services section of students. So um, coming to a close here, I wanted to show you the tools bar. This is a bar that will bring you to all of the different links here. So if you're having trouble navigating this for some reason, just come down to the students section and click on tools and it's gonna bring you to all the different places. So you've got here, help for students, a link to the blog where you'll be doing your student introduction. Um, the blog for your student introduction is in course content in unit zero, but again, you know, this is looking at one of those redundancies that's built in. So if you can't find something somewhere, it's probably back here under tools. And just think of this as your kind of backup page if you can't find something. So um, the discussion board is here, your blogs are here, and then a link to Blackboard Collaborate. Just a note, we're going to be using that during week five of the course. Um, there'll be instructions in that magical course content folder that has all of the weekly units broken down. But again, this is a redundancy, so there's a link to Blackboard Collaborate here. So moving on, um, just to kind of finalize things, there's a control panel down here where if you are having trouble with your settings, go down into control panel and that's available for your use. So just going back up here, the first thing that you're going to click on when you come in is the how to take this course video and your landing page is going to be welcome to the course and it's going to walk you through all of the different wonderful things to get you ready for the first day of class. So on a personal note, we're very much looking forward to working with you this summer. Please feel free to contact Leslie or myself and thank you for being a part of the class.